Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a, another quick embellishment um, tutorial. I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so I did the shaker Polaroid frames in the last embellishment video. Um, so I'm basically trying to build up a stash of embellishments. Um, so I wanted to show you guys this uh, embellishment here. This is a... I would call it a crepe, uh, crepe paper shaker rosette. So this is what I came up with for this embellishment. You can't see it because of the um, sequin I put in there, but it says fabulous. And I think I might have put the sequin in there before the glue in there actually dried. So they kind of get stuck around the edges, but it's still really pretty. I added some of that pretty gold thread that I love that looks really good on to, uh, embellishments. Um, so I made two of them. I want to make a set of four, so I'm going to make the other two on camera with you guys. I also made this small paper like um, banner and I got this idea from a recent embellishment um, video from Tamika at Scrap the World so that was where I got the inspiration for this little um, I don't know ruffle banner paper banner um, I thought that was cute a little bit of dimension but for today we're gonna do the rosettes so first off I wanted to let you guys know that I have um, already pre-made a lot of rosettes, crepe paper rosettes, and I did them in di all different colors. So when I'm ready to scrapbook or make embellishments, I can just pull them out. And so that's what I did for those two rosettes. So I'm just going to pull one out. They're pretty flat because I keep them all stacked in my storage together on top of each other. So they're pr pretty flat, but you can always fluff them up a little bit. So I'm gonna use that that one and another pink one for this video. So I'm gonna use these because they're already pre-made, but in case you guys are wondering how to do the crepe paper rosette, I'm just gonna show you how I do it. And for me to do it, I always have to have the roll of crepe paper in my right hand. And I have to have the roll over to the side of the right of me. And I just basically take the end of the crepe paper and I just start um, folding the crepe paper in on itself and rotating or barely turning as I make the folds. And I'm pinching and just folding the end of one end one edge only into itself so just like that making little pleats only on the one the one um the part that my thumb and my pointer finger are holding so i'm feeding those two fingers with this hand right here so i'm just taking and as i'm going i'm just kind of rotating But I found that this works best for me if I keep if I keep the crepe paper rolled to the right of me. So I guess maybe it's because I'm right handed. So I just usually go around just enough for two layers. All the way around, two layers all the way around. And just barely turning. Just pull out a little bit more slack and just keep going. And I don't know at this angle if you can tell what I'm doing. Okay. So I think I'm good. And, and it's up to you how much you go. And then I just take my scissors and then I just clip this and just pull that in like that. Then I take my just regular stapler and I put a staple going right in the center where I was holding it. So that's one and I usually do at least two staples in the center just to make sure I have it all held together. So that is how 
I make my create paper rosettes. So just wanted to show you guys that really quickly. Okay, so I also pre-cut um, a lot of shaped a lot of shape dies and let me show you guys the paper that I used this was a clearance 12 by 12 paper pad from uh, Michaels that I just got and I thought this was really pretty different colors and um, and images that would go good uh, like a whimsical like um, set for um, Happy Meal and um, I love the color scheme of this. I love pinks and purples and also the accent with the foil gold. So that is this and I'll just kind of do a quick flip through. You may have seen this. This is one of the hot, hot buy pads over at Michael's. They're on clearance now for just $4.97. So I'm just going to quickly go through this and then get back to my rosettes so there is some foiling on there I just thought this was really cute it says stay wild alright so this is the paper that I used and then I used my Cricut I used my um, Cricut maker and I um, I basically just uh, did several 12 by 12 sheets of embellishments and then I used my little punches I took out some little punches and punched some flowers and some little hearts so I'm just gonna grab the ones that I intend to use so I'm gonna use one like this and I'm gonna use one like this this is gonna be the top of my shaker the part that I'm gonna add my um, acetate piece too. So for the backing, I am, I've got some solid circles and again, it was really easy to, I'll use a pink and a purple solid. It was, uh, it was really easy for me to just print up a whole 12 by 12 sheet of these and I can keep these in my little baggie for whenever I want to use them and make embellishments with them again. So I just went ahead. I don't know if I want to make one with this. Anyways, we'll see. Okay, so I got my base and this will be the top of... Uh, or do I want to do this? I may go ahead and just layer. I think I'm going to layer these because, let's see, I probably should have separated them. Definitely. It would have been less time, but I just kind of threw them all in the bag together because now I cannot find the large animal print one. Even though I know they're in here. I know they're in here. Okay, got one. Okay, so I'm going to keep my, my stack off to the side here. So I'm going to go ahead and layer these, and, and this will make it a little bit more sturdy. So I'm going to put my rosettes to the side. I got my hot glue gun heating up, and I also did this because another... Um, I cut these out too, um, but I'll talk about those in another video. I just wanted to do this one really quick. So um, the next thing that I'm going to do is cut the vellum. So I told y'all about the, I'm sorry, not vellum, acetate. I told y'all about the acetate that I've been using, the one from Dollar Tree. So basically I just take one of the rounds here and then I just trace it out. go ahead okay so there's one and then I'm gonna go ahead and trace out another one so one piece of this Dollar Tree acetate will make six of these 
but I'm going to package up a set of four. I notice right now a lot of the crafters on here that I follow are doing DIY embellishments. I have been talking about I wanted to do some um, on camera here. And finally, I was like, I'm going to sit down and start doing some. Um, I had a couple days off from work, and I thought this was the perfect time to do it. So I got that one. Okay, so next I'm just going to take my glue, and I'm using my art glitter glue. And first, I am going to go ahead and just apply a little, I'm going to apply a little bit of glue. And, well, a lot of bit of glue. And mat these two together. And I'm putting these two together to make my shaker piece for my rosette a little more sturdy. Um, because the cardstock pack from Michaels, this designer paper, it's not really like a heavyweight deal. Um, so I do want it to be a little bit sturdy. So I am going to glue these together. to make my base. Next, I'm going to glue my little uh, acetate piece to my, um, and I'm really trying to be light-handed with this. I'm going to glue this acetate piece to my try not to get glue on the actual acetate. So got that one and I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. So the key for me is to go a little light, lighter handed with my glue. I'm always just squeezing squeezing away and I always end up with a ton of glue coming from underneath the edge of my deal so okay so got the window down like that so the next thing I want to do even though my shaker bits might cover up I want to add uh, one of these gold sentiment stickers to just kind of add a little bit of accent to this so I'm gonna put this in the center of my circles of the back backings on my circles so this one says hello and then I am going to put gorgeous on the other one. And I try to get in the middle upper part so that the rim of my the lid of my shaker, you know, it Okay, so next I'm going to go in with my quarter inch foam. I'm going to peel off the sticky part because it makes it easier I mean the backing of it it makes it easier to go in a circle with this and I'm going to add this to right around I'm going to try to keep it right on the rim and I cut these circles out to be uh, to give me a quarter inch border it's tricky though trying to go keep it circular <laughs> And then stay out of the view of the actual acetate piece. And, and it's kind of tricky to cut this to where there's no gap. So... I'm 
Okay, so that one is done. All right, next one, go ahead and go around with this one. It's just so much easier to take the, the backing off and round this. Again, I try to cut this to where I can close in all the gaps, which I think I have done. So this excess part, I can put the backing back on. Okay. So, now that I have that, I can show you guys the shaker sequin mix that I put together. And this is just like a mixture of just different sequins and glitter that I thought were pretty and that I thought the colors would match this. So, I am going to just sprinkle these right in the center of my circle and I'm going to try not to go too too heavy because those other two that I did I actually I think I might be a little bit too heavy with this I actually covered up the little gold foil stickers so next what I do is just take this backing piece and go right over and press and that gives me my shaker okay so I have this little part sticking out from later on I could take my little mini snips and just snip that off so I'm going to do the same thing with this one I'm going to snip this a little bit. And I'm just going to go right over the center and press. So cute. So then the next thing that I did, I've been loving using this paint pen to add some gold accents. So let me just see if I could find just a piece of scratch paper and if you press down it'll add at least more ink more paint to the tip so then what I do is I just take the paint pen right around the edge just to add that gold accent And I do the same thing for this one, just right around the edge. And it don't have to be perfect at all. All right, so I added the gold. All right, so next, I just fluff up my rosette a little bit and I've been loving using this thread and this thread is like I'm gonna say four dollars in something at Walmart so I just roll off a, uh, just however much I just roll some off and uh, I take it around my my three fingers here loosely just wrap it wrap it wrap it wrap it wrap it wrap it until it winds all around and it's okay if it looks kind of wild and then I just kind of 
lay it down on the rosette here. I don't know if my light is washing this out. I hope not. I just lay it down on the rosette. I'm going to do one more like that. to the side and get gather my string here and do my little rolling thing right around my three fingers here just kind of loose where it's easy to slide your fingers out of here and I don't know who started this with this gold thread but I really love this it really adds a good little accent to your projects so I just lay that down there and it's okay if it comes unwound a little bit as long as most of it is hanging off center I like it to be a little off center but I'm trying to keep it contained because I'm gonna drop some hot glue so I'm gonna drop some hot glue now right in the center I have another glue stick here. I'm just going to drop it right on top of both of those just to hold it down. And then I'm going to take my shaker and just add hot glue, hot glue on the back all over. And I'm going to stick that down right there. All right. So you got a little bit of that thread hanging out. All right. So same for this one. I'm just going to add that hot glue all over there. And I noticed that this glue got really hot in it fogged up my shaker window, which that'll go away and then just press down, press down. And that gives me my, my shakers. And once the perspiration goes away, you got your, your, your shaker. So right now it's a little foggy, but, um, and then this, if you don't want this hanging out, you can just snip off that extra piece. Okay, so I also, cut some little hearts and flowers and I actually like the gold heart right here so I am going to add a gold heart and just put a, a dot of hot glue and I'm going to add a gold heart right to the sides of my shaker That is what it's going to be looking like once that perspiration goes out of my out of my shaker windows. Really cute, fast embellishment, and all I have to do is package them up, and that makes a really cute embellishment. You can use it on a back topper, um, on a card. Um, or just as happy meal for somebody else to use them in whichever way they want to use them. So um, that is it for this video. I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the link below to subscribe. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.